What's up everyone, welcome to Ben's Car Reviews. I'm Ben and today we'll be dissecting the 2024 Cadillac CT4. Let's get into it. All right, let's start with the chart. Per usual, we have five different trim options for the CT4 in 2024. Luxury, premium luxury sport, V and the V mighty black wing. Luxury starts you off at 34,595 and that black wing will round you out at 61,495. So across these five different trim levels, price difference is quite significant, but hopefully there is a CT4 that lands in your price point and gives you what you want. Engine options. The standard engine for those first three will be the two liter four cylinder twin scroll turbo, 237 horsepower, 258 pound feet of torque. The premium luxury does give you the option of the larger 2.7 liter four cylinder that will give you 310 horsepower, 350 pound feet of torque, so significantly more power if you opt for that 2.7 liter. The V comes standard with a 2.7 liter, but you do get a little more power out of it at 325 horsepower, 380 pound feet of torque. And the Black Wing, of course, gets you the fastest engine, biggest engine, 3.6 liter twin turbo V6, 472 horsepower, 445 pound feet of torque. So significantly more power coming from that Black Wing for that extra price. Transmissions, two liter pairs with eight speed, 2.7's got a 10 speed, and the Black Wing will come standard with a six speed manual with the option of a 10 speed. So if you're a real car enthusiast, um, you know, you want that ultimate driving experience, the black one gets you standard manual. That's great to see. Drivetrain, rear wheel drive, standard on everything. All wheel drive can be optioned on all except the black wing. You can see your MPG numbers there. Not too bad at all. Before we go any further, guys, to your Ben's Car Reviews, I try to bring the most accurate relevant information under 10 minutes. There's no misleading and no waste of time. If that's something that's intriguing to you and you enjoy this content as you watch, please like and subscribe so I can continue to grow the channel. Let's keep going. Let's go through the pictures now of the CT4 while we talk about the main features. This CT4 is absolutely prepared to turn heads and empty bank accounts in 2024. For starters, you always know when you're looking at a Cadillac, always have had such recognizable and unique designs and they've always been the forefront of sport and luxury. All their models in 2024 hold the classic looks while remaining super modern and aggressive in an increasingly competitive market. Looking at these standard trim pictures, the most obvious differences in these trims on the outside are the wheel designs and more aggressive front fascia the higher you go, with the exception being the black wing. The sport model features a performance styled front fascia with a black mesh grille, gloss black rocker moldings, spoiler and exterior accents, and also the option of the available V Performance Brembo front brakes in red or blue. The V and V black wing trims will give you the most aggressive looks with the black wing taking that crown by far with its front splitter, spoiler, canards, and everything geared towards the most aerodynamic CT4 possible. Seriously sinister appearance, nothing short of stunning. I'm thoroughly impressed with the design team at Cadillac. The V's get you those big Brembo brakes I just mentioned standard and magnetic, magnetic ride suspension for t on top of the elevated looks. The Blackwing even offers two separate carbon fiber exterior packages. Numerous premium alloy wheel designs, sizes, and finishes to choose from depending how you buy an option. I think Cadillac has some of the some of the best wheel designs out there. Luxury comes standard with 19 inch, premium luxury and sports standard with 18 inch and optional 19 inch. And the V and Black Wing have multiple 18 inch options, including a bronze finish on the Black Wing that is seriously one of the best looking wheels I've ever seen. Full LEDs all around and the available lighting package allows you to benefit from LED front cornering lamps and LED turn signals. Cadillac boasts about expertly done aerodynamics as I mentioned on all these trims. The CT4 measures in at 187.2 inches long, 56 inches tall. Exterior packages include the Onyx package, Radiant package, and Bronze accent package and I have included pictures straight from Cadillac listing what those packages entail. Surprisingly though, I don't find any of these packages particularly better looking than the stock vehicle looks, perhaps the Onyx package with the right paint color to accompany it. I have a clear choice in the lineup for the best bang for my buck. I'll be going with the premium luxury with the 2.7 liter engine option. The V is also tempting with a sub 50k price tag, but for the very minimally more horsepower, it's not worth the 8k hike over the premium luxury unless you want the elevated exterior features that will come with the V. Interior pictures now, let's go through those main features. I found myself to be a critic more on the harsher side when it comes to interiors above certain price points. 
an exceptional interior should be expected and these price points certainly fall in that range but i think cadillac has done well here with both design and in the standard features for each trim level you get a standard eight inch diagonal full color infotainment screen great to see all trims get that same size screen the available 12 inch diagonal hd color reconfigurable driver's instrument cluster offers customizable configurations and display options to suit your preferences available 12 inch full color heads up display as well available heated and ventilated driver and passenger seats with lumbar massage and numerous adjustments and driver memory settings in fact um, you get 12-way driver's seat adjustment on luxury premium luxury has 14 and sport has a whopping 18 adjustment options you have standard eight speaker audio with available 14 speaker Bose premium sound system, available leather seating services and high contrast color options with seat custom seat perforations. The V-Series gets you a performance steering wheel wrapped in thick leather with easy access to V-Mote and performance traction management. Available Super Cruise technology, wireless phone charging and all trims, built-in Amazon Alexa, and a sleuth of standard driver assist safety and technology features. Overall, I'm definitely pleased with what Cadillac has done here. I mentioned having standards at certain price points, but a Cadillac badge adds even more to those expectations, but props to Cadillac for doing it right. Interview guys, if you're checking out options in this market, you want a vehicle like this, and you're looking at the CT4, you're also looking at the big players. Along with this, the BMW 3 Series, the Audi A4, Mercedes-Benz C-Class, maybe even the Genesis G70, tons of options out there to get you what you're looking for as far as performance, luxury, looks. It can all be there for many different things, but Cadillac, man, they've been around for so long, doing it right, they've got the reputation. Heading into 2024, clearly, they seem to only be getting better. Prices aren't out of control, in my opinion, for what you're getting. The Blackwing is 60,000, that is a lot of money, don't get me wrong, but you know, there's a lot less for that same amount of money that you could get elsewhere. So I, I don't think that's a terrible deal. And, you know, you can get one of these for, you know, well sub $40,000, which I think is great to see. So if you're loving Cadillac, you want something like this, you want an upper trim. The CT5 is maybe a little bit out of your price range. You don't need that much car. CT4 fits in the right spot. Then there's definitely should be an option here to really get you that fun performance car that looks great. It is a lot of fun to drive at the same time. So hopefully this video laid things out in a clear way for you guys. Thank you for watching this Benz car review. Please subscribe if not already. If you have an idea for a future review, drop it in the comments and I'll see what I can do. If you'd like to become a member of the channel, I have that option now. Check that out and join if you'd like. And I'll catch you on the next Benz car review.